Hello, welcome to the official Go Export video tutorial. In this video, you will learn the following how to download, and how to set up, and how to utilize Go Export for your own videos. But first, what is Go Export? Go Export is a tool that lets you export your videos from Rapper Offline and Flash Themes. It is a simple command line utility and you can quite literally enter a video ID, and you have a video recording without OBS or Bandicam, with the loading screens cut out. You can then just upload it straight to YouTube. So, that being said, let's begin on how to actually get Go Export. Okay. So first, visit this website. If you are on Flash Themes, you can just click the bubble. However, if you're on YouTube, you can either type the link or look in the description. And the link should take you to this website. All you've got to do is simply click the download button in the top right, and the download link will take you to this page, which may look complicated at first, but it's actually really simple. All you have to do is scroll down a little bit until you see assets. And what you'll want to do is simply click on assets and it'll open this menu now we're talking now just click the one that relates to your computer basically if your computer was bought recently you will want the one that says x64 i'm on windows 11 64 bit and i will now download the one for windows x64 now just wait for the download while you wait let's talk about the requirements go export requires the following for it to work adobe flash player preferably clean flash and microsoft visual c plus plus redistributable x64 for 64-bit computers and x86 for 32-bit computers which those can be found on the download page your browser is currently on simply download the two requirements install them and you should be good to go Alright, now that Go Export is done downloading, you are now ready to get started learning about how to use it. Alright, so first you want to extract the file, right click on the file, and click extract all then, select the path to extract it to. Next, in the extracted folder, double click on Go Export to launch it. Now the program will appear. It will ask you to run it as admin, and then close. Simply go back to the application, and right click on it. Then click run as admin and then yes. It will only need to be done once. You do not need to run as admin every time you use Go Export. Now, as you can see, it will ask you for your desired LVM. FT means flash themes, and local means wrapper offline or go animate wrapper. As you can see, the brackets with local inside, that means it is the default selection. I'll go with that, local. Next it will ask for your desired resolution. I'll go with the default again, 1280 by 720 Next, it asks if you want to try automatic editing. What this means is, it will cut out the loading screens for you, and leave you with the exact video. I'll go with yes. Now, this is a little tricky, but it asks for a video ID. What I usually do is go to my browser, type in localhost, colon, 4343 and then click play on a video the video will appear in a new window but the url is still visible the text movie id is equal to a bunch of letters that is your video id so give that a copy and paste it into the command line now before you click enter close or mute all applications that are making sound and then click enter it will open the browser with go export on screen then it starts playing once the video is done recording you'll be asked a couple additional questions which are self-explanatory you may simply answer no to them and the video will finish up once the video is finished up and the terminal has closed you may now visit your videos folder on windows and that is where your video is located watch your video Video back to ensure everything is correct and if all is perfect you may now upload it straight to YouTube I hope this video has helped you out if you need any more help please consider joining our discord community which can be found here likewise you can also find the link to that in the description on our website and you can click on the bubble on flash themes as well well anyways thank you for watching I hope you enjoy using go export goodbye